Today we've got two Callaway drivers, the Rogue STLS Triple Diamond and then the Maverick Sub-Zero Triple Diamond. What does Triple Diamond even mean? Danny will tell us a little bit and we'll test on TrackMan. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Danny Farrell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Interesting one today. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got triple diamond driver heads from Callaway, the new Rogue STLS, and then the Maverick Sub-Zero. That's from 2020. The Rogue is from 2022. Mm -hmm. um, I think that triple diamond verbiage is, it's, I think, new to a lot of golfers. You see, you know, the what's in the bags of Callaway staffers, and they have that triple diamond right. driver head in their bag. but. What does that really mean, Danny? Because it's, you know, you, you got maybe Sub-Zero in the past or LS now with the Epic Series and the Rogue Series. So um, what does that triple diamond, you know, connotation mean here? Sure, sure. So the triple diamond, like you said, it's not really brought about much. Mm -hmm. um, the forgiveness level drops out of it. You can see just by looking at the head, there's a camber to it. You mm -hmm. have less heel and toe relief. All the weight is slammed closer to the face. So if we miss, there's less forgiving on it. But if we hit it center, sayonara. Mm -hmm. it, it's great there. So it's a player's shape. It does sit a little bit flatter. Remember, sub-zero heads sit about two degrees flatter at standard position. Mm -hmm. So you'll see when you put it down, the toe sits down a little bit. But we lose the forgiveness level of it. Okay. We're definitely going to be getting a lot of distance with this. This is a low spin bomber. But I'm, I'm interested to see how forgiving it is for you. So we've got two similar heads. We're gonna play with the Aldilla Green 65X for you, which mm -hmm. I think is a great fit, a great choice. Mm -hmm. So I'm very interested to dive into this yeah. and learn more about this since it didn't really come about in fitting this year. Yeah. You know, there's not many players that need that shape, need that design. It's yeah. very tour inspired. Right. Um, it's for that player that, you know, is hitting it in the middle of the face and wants everything out that they can. Mm -hmm. So. I think I, I mean, frankly, I don't think I'd be a fit for this head just because I do, I don't hit the center of the face every time, but mm -hmm. I think speed wise, I do fit into the category. So yeah. that's maybe where some of this could come in. But also another part to look at here is just how the forgiveness or the, the technology has changed from two years, you know, Maverick Sub-Zero 2020, this is the 2022. Mm -hmm. So, um, Maybe there's some extra, some different weighting and things going on there that maybe improve things over time. Absolutely, and you and I both like to draw the golf ball. So having a club that sits a little bit flatter mm -hmm. might encourage a more right starting line for our, for our purposes sure. today. Mm -hmm. So let's get to work. They're gonna be both nine degrees, same shaft. Let's send it and see how far we can go. I like it. All right, so Drew, we're gonna get after this kind of Callaway test. I know what's in the bag for you right now. You play the Sim 2 driver. Mm -hmm. Why did you go into that? Well, I think it was just, I spun the ball a lot, I do with my speed. Okay. And so that was, in, when I was initially fit at the beginning of 2021, that was just the, the best performer. Okay. Consistent wise, um, you know, a, a similar distance, you know, and it really worked for any type of face strike too. Okay. Pretty similar and low spin. So okay. that's why that was my driver. Uh, but, you know, these, I guess, diamond heads from Callaway, you know, there's probably some lower spin even to be had yes. yet. Yes, I'm very intrigued. I'm happy to hear that, you know, you're a player with high spin because these drivers are designed for that, you know, to drop the spin, minimize that. But the only downside is we lose some forgiveness mm -hmm. on that too. So your Sim 2 is very, very forgiving. These, you're gonna feel that it's not so forgiving. Mm -hmm. But the one that you catch, whew, you're yeah. gonna be coming back for more, mm -hmm. okay? So let's lead out with the Callaway Maverick um, from 2020. Okay. See what happens with that. It's a good start. There's that low spin we're chasing. Yeah. Right? Good launch, spin. I'm okay with that. You know, 283, 316. See, that's definitely lower than I'm used to hitting my driver. Yeah. Height wise. I mean, landing angle, we want that under 40. Mm -hmm. So we're getting greedy a little bit lower just off the first date. Yeah. But let's see a couple more. Great start. Very great move. That one's good. There's the low spin, mm -hmm. 16, 10, 92 feet. I'm comfortable with that. Again, landing angle under 40, we're keeping that down. These drivers, so much weight slammed forward to help that dynamic loft for you mm -hmm. drop. So that's why the height is going down. It's in a great window right now, Drew, and you are roasting this. Mm -hmm. 
this fitter might be out of something with his shaft, huh? <laughs> might know a little I bit. I do. I, I love the feel <laughs> of the shaft. I do love that. Groovy. Ooh, see, that's interesting because I, I really felt like that was the best swing of okay. the three. Okay. I'm surprised to see that much curve on it, and that's probably a little bit of that that weight in the club head. Well, yes, yes, but also the spin. Remember that when spin drops out, yeah. the ball gets more erratic, mm -hmm. right? If you try and hook a pitching wedge 40 yards, it's hard. I mean, Bubba did it in the Masters, but it, yeah. it's, it's hard to do. But when driver's spin gets low, it gets a little bit erratic. Mm -hmm. But still, in play, I love the carry, love the total. We're chasing a low spin, we're, we're delivering. Mm -hmm. Callaway is definitely delivering here. Well done. Oh boy. Woo woo! That's what I'm talking about, Drew. Yep. You know I what? I told you that one that you catch, Sayonara. Yeah. 296, three and a quarter. I mean, we can't even deny how straight this is going for you. The forgiveness level, I think, is a little bit higher than we expected. It is. Granted, it you're is. putting great moves on this. The shaft is really helping you deliver that, mm -hmm. too. But you kind of delivering the story early on, the spin is. You know what you're chasing to drop that out. Mm -hmm. This, these are all a little on the low side. Yeah. I mean, if we can get that up a little bit, that would help kind of bring that carry distance up. But overall, Drew, you are really maximizing your ball speed. Smash is very, very good. Mm -hmm. Launch is low because of all that weight forward in the head, right. and also the spin as well. But again, great, great start here. Let's uh, kind of take what we learned there and throw the the Rogue Max or the Rogue STLS triple mm -hmm. diamond in from Okay, a triple diamond. So should be similar, right? Should, should be I'm very similar. I'm curious to see now, you know, because two years of, of difference here in the technology and whatnot, so. Yeah, I, I, I'm noticing a shape difference right off the bat. Yeah. Just kind of tooling this head off. I mean, I'll kind of try to show it in the camera here as well. But what we're seeing, you kind of see how the club heads themselves sit. See how the profile of the Maverick in my, in my hand here, that has more of a camber to it. There's less heel and toe relief there. It's more rounded on the sole. Where this one, we have a little bit more heel and toe relief, a little bit slimmer design, but a lot of weight still closer to the face. We have two weights on the Maverick, okay, that you can interchange, which if we move the heavier weight back, that might help deliver a little mm -hmm. bit higher sure. launch for you yeah. too. Uh, but overall, there's a little bit of a head shape difference. I'm interested to see What's your feel is when we put this down? Okay. I know you're going to see a difference. In I'm interested shape. in that. Okay. 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 So initially, Drew, I know you're going to love the look of that. I do. I know I you're do. a Matt Black fan. Yep. Okay. But talk to me about the look when you put it down. I, I brought up the point that Maverick sits a little bit different with all the camera yeah. underneath I can, there. I can feel that and see it too a little okay. bit. Okay. Um, I also feel like it's a smaller club head. It, it has a, a smaller profile, but it's interesting because I can even... Yeah, I can, it seems like even more, especially towards the toe, it seems like there's just a little bit more versus the Correct. The you're 100% dead on there. I mean, this club is still sitting nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Do you notice that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's definitely, you know, the previous one was definitely helping with the starting line, starting a little mm -hmm. bit right for you. So let's get after this. I'm excited about this one. See, that felt like it was off the toe. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, a tiny bit. Five millimeters, again, you'll hear me all the time on the channel talk about millimeters and dimples on golf balls. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, I mean. One, one dimple is four, four millimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that strike we missed by a dimple, but I always want to see players miss toe side because the spin drops out a little yeah. bit. Heel side is no bueno, it's dangerous. It spins yeah. a lot, okay? So you're in a great spot. I love how that driver is sitting, that dynamic lie, or how it's sitting for you at impact mm -hmm. is nice and flat. That's why it's encouraging the right starting mm -hmm. line. So really, really good start here, Drew. That was not a good swing. But that's interesting. Talk to me about that. I saw you back off immediately from it. Talk to me. Didn't feel good. Okay. Um, it was, it felt, now I don't know what, Trackman says for impact location, but it felt very high toe. Yep. Yeah. So that was kind of just that, that feel piece that I had out of it. And sure. I mean, it worked out, which it, is nice. Cause I think, you know, I've noticed that for sure hitting the more high MOI drivers that, mm -hmm. you know, when you hit 
that spot on the face, it's probably going to work out oh. as long as you're not coming over the top or something. Correct. But that is a lot better than I would have anticipated that one to turn out. Uh, absolutely. And the reason why, you know, you caught that a little bit more toe side, guys, take a look at that dynamic lie. Okay. That's how, how the driver itself is sitting at impact. So the last one was in, you know, more in the 54 is about a degree more mm -hmm. kind of upright. This was sitting a little bit flatter. That's why it encouraged more of that toe strike for you. So again, I love the flat um, setting mm -hmm. with these club heads for you. It's really encouraging here. Yeah. See, Beautiful. See, that? it's funny that the spin went up on that one too. It did. I mean, how, how did that feel impact? It, I think it was a tad low on the face, but that's being very nitpicky. <laughs> so so I, I absolutely love the feedback you're giving that this driver is delivering that to you and yeah. you have that. That's true, it's true. I, I know, that's actually a good point. I didn't, I know exactly where I hit on the face. Mm -hmm. I have every time. I've, Isn't that I've great? I felt it. It's, it's funny, because I don't think I have that now with my current driver. I haven't in the past. I, right. I've well, played, uh, played the G30 LST for a long time. Yep. Sim 2 one year. Yep. And I think just that added weight in, the, in forward in the head is probably adding a little bit of feedback there. It, absolutely, absolutely. I'm thrilled with this. Another great ball. Yep. And the funny thing is, yeah, that's see that one is probably a little bit low heely even. You're you're spot on, Drew. Jeez. <laughs> you're spot on today, Money. man. Money. But still a heel strike. Generally that, that's that's what I'm saying. A high spin. I was I'm stunned by that actually. Yeah. How well that turned out. Because that's you know, like you said, the low the low kind of heel mm -hmm. shot, usually it's spinny and even goes on a kind of a fade or a slice right. almost. Right. And See I that mean, draw like that and go 312 is... Absolutely. So there's still nice. some forgiveness in there. I know. But the weight being forward mm -hmm. for you is a huge win for you. Yes. The flatter lie angle, how the club effectively sits, mm -hmm. is big for you as well. I mean, that's the most upright we've seen from you at 56.2. Mm -hmm. But that's also why we delivered it into the heel as yeah. well. But overall, I mean, numbers-wise, if we really break these two down, you know, there's a lot, a lot of good. Your club head speed is about the same. Uh, we were a little bit more consistent with the triple diamond from the Maverick, mm -hmm. okay? But launch came up with the Rogue, which I like. Spin came up a little bit more, which I also like. And carry was similar. Because the spin was up, we lost a little bit of back end distance there. Yeah. But we also showed a little bit more lofted impact, yeah. which I like. I like that a lot. So we take away the knuckleball effect, have more control over where that golf ball is sure. going. Um, your delivery was pretty similar there as well inside out and face angle open, which we like. But look at the height difference, Drew. Yeah. You know, I think that, that overall spin is keeping that ball up a mm -hmm. little bit, and we're still in a great window in terms of landing angle, under 40 degrees. Yeah. That's what we're chasing here. So overall, I mean, dispersion was pretty darn similar to, to where we were, but I think, you know, shaft-wise, I think we might have found something this is, for 2022. I like this. I like this fit a lot. Uh-huh. Wow, mm -hmm. it has a, I mean, it, it feels like it's really, it just, it feels easy for me to swing with my, my speed and my kind of, my tempo. It Absolutely. seems like it's a good match. Absolutely. I mean, me knowing your game a little bit, I, I brought this in as, you know, something mentally shaft wise, knowing the profile yeah. that how it bends, how it flexes, that would fit you well. So it's deliberate. Yeah. But I want to throw something else in the mix here. Okay. You know me, I've played the Epic Flash double diamond. Okay. Okay. So again, I want to kind of show the, try to show the camber in the, in the club heads here. You know, the Maverick Sub-Zero, you still see where it's more rounded on the sole here. There's less heel and toe. The double diamond still is a little bit flatter lie angle, but again, you can see the profile changes a little bit. I have more kind of support in the heel and the toe, and it's a little bit slimmer design overall, guys. So we're going to put this in the mix too. Okay, so all right. We're going to add a little bit of forgiveness. Okay, but we also gain a little bit of traction with moving a weight around too. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how this one delivers a little bit more forgiving for you. Okay. All right, Drew. So you've got my head, the double mm -hmm. diamond Epic Flash uh, Sub Zero model. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about looks comparing that to the brand new Callaway Rogue STLS. Talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm seeing, like you had alluded to, there's a ton more weight. I think I'm mostly seeing it 
toe side here mm -hmm. with the epic flash kind of right here in the double diamond yep. i mean i look at the comparison here and it's not really close yeah ton more support actually on, now i see on heel and toe side there's yep. a ton more so that, absolutely and that's exactly you know i went into that because i needed a little bit more forgiveness than the triple diamond mm -hmm. but i went lighter in the shaft so i wanted to get the lower spin too yeah so i'm really interested to see how this compares to the latest and greatest and also to the older brother mm -hmm. in the Maverick. So let's get after it. I think that's my highest ball speed of the day. Oh, I swung faster on that too. Mm -hmm. Club head speed came up. Good launch. Again, lower on the spin rate though, Drew. Yeah. But you brought up a point initially when you first put this down. And there's a reason why I put myself into this for the exact same reason. You said it sits a little bit open. Mm -hmm. It does. So Which, again, for us that like to draw the ball, yep. it helps with that starting line. Yeah, and you can tell it's, I started that. That was perfect. You know, open face 2.6 degrees. That's fantastic. For my draw, that's perfect. Start even more, right? Is it gonna come back? No. But, see, usually when you go right like that, doesn't the spin go up? Most of the time? It, it does, generally. But again, with all that weight slammed close to mm -hmm. the face, that helps that dynamic loft lower. That helps the spin rate drop there. So that was not a slice by any means, Drew. Your club path was inside out. The yeah. face was just slightly open. But again, look at the carry, look at the total. Mm -hmm. Landing angle still nice and healthy under 40. Mm -hmm. Great miss there. Before but again, you, you said this one sits a little bit open. We might see a little bit more right with this then. I suppose, yeah. Pretty. It's a Pretty. little bit high on the face, but that'll work because Sayonara. that's where the miss is. Where did you feel that was hit? A little high. Okay. A little high on the face. You got it. That's I didn't feel. I didn't came. feel the heel side though. No, that's why launch came up, spin came up. You know, again, really good numbers with this. I love that that dynamic lie is sitting mm -hmm. flat. That's a huge win for you. You know, I'd be really interested to see TaylorMade versus this. Because TaylorMade generally sits a little bit more upright. Okay. Okay. See, I didn't Spe know that. Especially with these heads. Yeah. Remember, Sub-Zero heads sit a little bit flatter or toned mm -hmm. down. So this is really, really encouraging going through this with you, Drew. Nice work. Wow. Best of the day. Yeah, that's... I hit that one pretty square, too. It, absolutely. And I mean, the height... I'm okay with spin dropping a little bit lower because that height is delivered. Mm -hmm. If the height was at like 70, 80 feet and the spin was there, we have to make some adjustments. That's yeah. not quite optimized, okay? Drew, what we're looking at here, TrackMan delivers everything based on your club head speed, your attack, ball speed, spin, etc., and throws it into a metric and says, hey, Drew, this is your potential, mm -hmm. okay? So carry-wise, we got 296 out of that. Optimal will be 299. We're chasing three yards, okay? Okay. You can see kind of in this grid here, ball speed wise, based on your club head speed, we can get a little bit more out of it. Maybe yeah. bump into 172, chase a little bit more. That would deliver a couple more yards yeah. in the air for you. But since everything else was in a great window for us, we only missed optimal by one yard. Don't worry, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good grade. <laughs> you know, percentage wise, you're in a classroom, you're looking for Height in on the test, I think 321 out of 322 is a pretty good grade. I, I'd give you an A. Yeah. I think you're passing with that. <laughs> so I, I'm really happy with this, Drew. Let's send a couple more. I mean, this is really good. We might have found uh, some combinations for 2022 for Drew. Uh, seriously, yeah. It's a little bit toey, but look at that. I mean. <laughs> toey, 290, 311. And you missed that, for sure, efficiency-wise. But you know, what's interesting with this head, we're, we're gaining club head speed. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, maybe that's confidence in seeing the ball going a little bit straighter, whether it's waiting at the club head, whatever it is, but we're picking up three miles an hour from the Maverick. Mm -hmm. That just delivers more potential. We know there's more ball speed in the tank for us. Yeah. We're just not quite catching it the way we were um, kind of with the triple diamond. Yeah. It, just is, sits it is a little funny bit that you know, I had I guess it wasn't my highest ball speed and was my least efficient with the epic flash here, but yep. I had the best distance carry yeah, it was number the anyway. Highest, highest carry in total. I mean, your delivery with the club, your dynamic loft is great. We can tell this was low. 
that Maverick uh, mm -hmm. triple diamond. There's so much weight forward there, yeah. Drew, that slams that face down sure. at impact. So when we go into this, I mean, overall, numbers-wise, very, very similar in performance. But again, I love the height that these two are delivering. I'm not a fan of the Maverick being low and low spin. That's dangerous. It's hard mm -hmm. to play. Okay, But so far, I mean, looking at numbers, very, very consistent. If we take this one out, for example. Yeah, that's going to be a nice dispersion to look at, I think. <laughs> like, if we take a look at this now, Drew, it's a very, very healthy uh, mm -hmm. dispersion. Again. Triple diamond, less forgiving. Yep. We see the variance there in carry, right? But now we've got a little bit more forgiving in the double diamond, yep. a little bit more heel and toe. You felt that during the strikes as well. Mm -hmm. But now we can definitely see the forgiveness level of this driver. Yeah. I love the, the fact that it sits a little bit open for you. You and I are very similar in performance, so it's very good for that. But overall, talk to me about feel. Did anything feel better or look better to your eye? I did, um, I liked the feedback that I was getting from, well, the triple diamond heads, just, you know, I knew exactly where I would hit it on the face. Mm -hmm. um, I did, I, I felt like I lost a little bit of that with the double diamond, but I think that's to be expected. Yep. Uh, I, I really like this setup. I almost kind of want to ask you a price tag on this driver head right now. <laughs> uh, but this is, it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, all of these are great, are great options for me. I mm -hmm. can see that. I mean. I get, I'm pretty in, in a good spin window that I'm looking for. Yep. Uh, those numbers distance-wise are, are great. And, you know, I even I, man, the Epic Flash, I wasn't even hitting it that efficiently relative to the other two. Right. One, four, five, smash. Right. So but there's I was more able potential. To, yeah. But again, that, that's all the forgiveness level in there, man. Mm -hmm. So we're, I'm very, very happy with this test. Yeah. I mean, Drew, thanks for taking the time to send some drives oh yeah right I, I think we really found a combination for 2022 mm -hmm. guys come on in if you're a player that needs lower spin but can deliver more consistency in the club head these three options would be great for you different price points come in see how shapes deliver for you if we can impact that ball speed a little bit more get a little bit more distance maybe we can even chase drew on distance so again <laughs> drew thanks for coming in of course guys if you like what you saw smash that subscribe button like and send some comments to Drew. Let him know how far he's hitting it. Thanks for tuning in.